routine. So today we have been for breakfast this morning and we have been this is very high chair. Um we've been to my nan's and where else? Oh we went to um a shop as well because we wanted to collect something for my cousin. It is her surprise baby shower tomorrow. So this is terrible lighting where I am. It's really cold guys so we got this on. Um, but I am just making this little shelf into a charge station. <laughs> but the what's it called extension cable that I went to put here is just too short. It doesn't fit across across here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and collect a extension cable now to sit on here so I can put all of my little charges in front of it so when my battery runs out I can just literally put it in there for my camera and it will be ready so that is what we're going to go and do now. think I'm almost done with this electrical thing so this is how it's looking at present it's never gonna look like amazing <coughs> excuse me <coughs> because it's on show but I've just got like the little like plastic tie things around these um, and I'd like to get one more so I can always have like my iPad phone and then maybe the like the Apple pencil charging and then I've got one free here TV in up here which is going to be my screen for when I film I'm quite excited about that then I've got my two Canon vlog camera ones ready my big one my drone the GoPro and I've got one space here and I was just opening up like this GoPro bag which came in basically this was I asked Adam for for Christmas um which was the stocking filler it was only nine pounds 99 for let me see what was in it basically all of this all of this stuff you can see right now was £9.99 I mean that's a wrist strap I believe you've got like a suction mount here loads of different I, don't, I haven't even opened them to see what's in it but there are literally loads like a chest harness don't know what that one is I'm going to open it there's a little like fake Joby I say fake because it's obviously all not original GoPro stuff but um yeah and it's you know it's not the most sturdy but I think that would be alright for my vlogging camera it might hold the weight a bit and I'll try that out because you know that my one broke before um, a little monopod yeah there are absolutely loads of little bits in here so I'm just going to go through and just sort them out a little bit I'm getting quite excited for how organised things are also, I really wanted to show you this because I was looking for some little tags to organise things basically. So for example, to show me if I've got this hanging from the back of my computer, I can see what it's for. So I've written on here, Canon has <laughs> done a very good job. But what I wanted to do was do that basically, label the ones that aren't easily recognisable like the little GoPro one you've got to really look and try and find the little GoPro symbol on it but all this stuff guys ignoring the little plastic bit on it that I've just stuck on was like £2.99 I want to say from Amazon and it's just plant tape granted it doesn't write on very well so I've tried it with a sharpie as well it's just the kind of consistency that it is um, so Biro, Biro was working the best but look how cool is that it was like 2 99 for the whole roll so that's what I've been using to organize things so don't go buying loads of little tags or if you're looking for anything like that go for that I will link that below if I can find it and I'll link this little GoPro pack as well does anyone know what you would use this one for I really have no idea so obviously you stick that on the back but I don't really know what the purpose of that one is Okay, I am done. This is what it looks like. We have charge station at the bottom, GoPro and accessories. So many good accessories in that pack, I'm telling you. Then, Indy making noises downstairs camera. Um, this camera, which we're on now, lives here then as well. <coughs> Lenses, um, 
drone with katana on top which is like a stabilizing thing for it if you don't want to use it as an actual drone um, and then some other mounts and type things there in the middle it's called a dead cat it's a very weird name I know <sighs> so these two little ones are going wild at the moment Indy's making lots of noise if you can hear him I can't even look at the back bedroom at the moment which I was supposed to tackle today and I was supposed to film my wardrobe clear out but I don't think that's going to happen this evening it's like half five and I don't know if I feel up to that <sighs> so I better feed these doggies have a little sit down are you hungry? is all you're saying to me? huh? say are you hungry boy? Are you hungry? What about you, little husky at the end there? Are you hungry? Three little bums eating. So that is the first step, that little organisation that I did, in producing some more exciting content. So now I think that everything's laid out nicely. What am I doing? I'm just walking up and down. Um, then, hopefully, I will create something good for you. So I'm just going to literally like sit down for about 10 minutes just watching nothing on TV really. Just because I need to relax in my back. Ugh. Kota, do you want a wee wee? Kota! She's going. That's why the towel is there. Just knock the door and tell me. Like Indy will stand there and scratch the door to tell me he needs to go to the toilet. But not Kota. Nope. Are you happy with yourself? Hmm? I thought so. <laughs> Did you just burp in my face? Hmm? Yes, you. You burped in my face. It's not very nice, is it? Say, no, just not very nice. A bit of butt in the air. <laughs> I thought I would show you a new little purchase that I have. Um, and I got it in the three colours. So this is, my lips are really dry. Um, triple Protection Skin Tint with Goji Berry by Hello Fab. I think it's by Hello Fab. Um, so it's this little thingy here, which is not just going to focus on. Hang on a second. There we go. Um, and I'm wondering if you want me to do a tutorial on it. I really want to do like a dewy skin kind of um, video and see what it comes out like. But I have it on today and kind of like how natural it looks. But I got it in the three shades. So the light, the medium and the dark. And I thought I'd like mix them all together like when I'm a little bit more tanned. Take a shot every time I say like as well because I'm really annoying myself at the moment. But I have it on today and I wouldn't say that the light is <laughs> light, but it, so I wouldn't recommend it for somebody who's like an ivory skin tone like me. Basically, I've, I have to blend it down my neck so that it's not really the best light to show you in, but it's, it's not, it's not light, but you can still see like skin, light. You can still see skin through it, which I really do like. I'm allowed to say it there. <sighs> yes, so it's nice, lightweight. I feel like I can still see my skin through it. And my lips are killing me. I need something on them. Um, and what else do I feel? I feel like I want to have a bath and warm up. Uh, <laughs> yes, but I feel like it wears really well throughout the day as well. Whereas my normal foundation, if I've had it on for goodness knows how many hours... I kind of like get creasing in my wrinkly forehead and things like that so I am very impressed I also think that I have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick problem these are just ones that I find in coat pockets and bags just now and I know I've got a lot more in my actual makeup drawer in the other room so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a quick go through my makeup I'm supposed to be editing right now but we're not going to do that yet and um, we're going to have a quick go through my makeup and pick out some little faves that I want to start using because I keep just going through this thing and tipping it out and this and ignore those little wrappers as well guys 
Um, yeah, I kind of need a little bit more organisation in my life. Also, how cosy is this little cardigan? Which is not a little cardigan. This is one that I picked up, goodness knows how long ago, in a couple of sizes too big. Didn't mean to do that either. Didn't mean to buy it oversized. But um, it's just lush. It's absolutely massive. And I always feel like I'm wearing a blanket when I've got it on. <coughs> Goodness. Okay, I now have a little collection of some of my fave little lip products up on my little shelf over here. And <laughs> look how small I just shop in this pencil. That's ridiculous, isn't it? I think the pencil actually goes to here. I haven't pushed this on completely. Um, it was one of, I think the probably one of the very first Pillow Talk uh, lip liners that I bought as I dropped it. <laughs> and it just, what happened to it? Um, it, like it shattered inside and I think I haven't had it long. And I kept like persevering with it and sharpening it down. And I picked it up and it fell out again. I was like, I wonder how far down it goes. So I started sharpening and the rest is history that's how little it is but I am now going to run myself a little bath and then I think I'm going to put some tan on but thank you for joining me today guys um it was a little bit of a nothing like too exciting happening but good just to chat to you again I think and just sort of be talking to you and get myself back into things so um I hope you're having a lovely day and sleep well tonight and I will see you on Tuesday bye guys